Hello folks, this is Jamil Surfer Gunstruck Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility, with two brand new little revolvers, single action revolvers from Heritage Manufacturing. They are the Barkeeps. They come in two different flavors. They come with this one that is all black with the pearl-like grips, and this one that is a two-tone, is sort of like a gold finish, I would call it, is bronze, brass, gold, I don't know, um, and engraved wood grips. What are they? They are just very economical, first time shooter type pistols. The revolvers from Heritage are really good for a very modest price. These are 22 long rifle, uh, they're six shooters, but then again, they are modest type entry type pistols, something that you start shooting with or start kids shooting with and all that, which I, and for plinking too, I mean, you do not ne need a very expensive revolver to shoot 22 long rifles. I think these are very well made here in the USA by Heritage Manufacturing. And I'm gonna give you some of the features, like I said, two different flavors, they're a two inch barrel. And these are really good revolvers. I fired them and the accuracy is you know, very good for a revolver that retails for about 150 bucks. Um, great up to say 25, 30 yards, and great for shooting cans and small little uh, clay targets and stuff like that. They're really fun of the range. I'm shooting some of the federal ammo that you buy, the bulk ammo that you used to buy at the big box stores. Now you can't buy any ammo at all. This is a, a 500 rounds, it used to be 20 bucks, and that was two years ago. Now 500 rounds be 500 bucks. But um, these are, sing like I said, single action only. They have one feature about Heritage is that they have a safety on them. So basically, is a single action gun, spe specifically these without a transfer bar type of safety, you need to have a manual safety on it because being uh, rim fire, if it falls on a loaded chamber, it will go boom. So the, uh, the manual safety is very important. Also for un unloading, normal uh, rim fire, um, single action cowboy style um, revolvers have the ejector rod built into the barrel, but this barrel is very short, so they include this unloading tool. So you can actually take your empties, you go into half cock, and then you can actually move the cylinder freely, and you can insert the rod from um, the front and push your empties out. So that's one of the ways of doing it. So. I tried them, let me shoot them again and see how it goes. Let's go ahead and put some targets up and let's do it. Okay, let's go ahead and I loaded it up with six rounds. Uh, it's a six shooter, like I said, and let's go ahead and shoot it. Yep, feels like a 22. It's easy to shoot, it's fun to shoot, I must say. And I'm gonna take it into half cock like I mentioned before. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the process of emptying it. Um, of course, you start from the beginning, put it in half cock, loading gate out, and you push your rounds in and let them fall out. And the loading process is the opposite. You finish with it and you take your rounds and you put them in one at a time the same way. So, fun little revolver. Let's shoot it some more. Well, you know what, that was fun. This is a great fun uh, plinking a revolver, something you can take to the range. And when ammo prices come down again, which they will, I hope, you'll be able to have a day full of fun for just a few bucks. This is a great little revolver, great for starters, bringing your kids to the range for the first time, teaching, him, teaching them gun safety. So 
great little choice for a starter pistol. They just came out, so they should be hitting the stores anytime now. So again, like I always say, stay healthy, stay safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.